Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number six. Power of number eight. <clears throat> and power of number 10. Okay. Looks like we're going to the number 24. Some of these Scorpios are dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer born in the month of June. You could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could also be dealing with a Libra or another Scorpio born in the month of October. You could also be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. And yes, a lot of you Scorpios were born in the month of November. That is true. Strong Scorpio and Aries energy coming in through the number 16, as well as strong Cancerian energy through the number 18. Strong Gemini, Aries, and Virgo energy coming in through the number one. Aries energy coming in again through the number zero. Scorpionic energy coming in through the number 20. The Zodiac fixed signs. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio coming in through the number 21. And Sagittarius energy coming in again through the number 14. Some of you could be 20, 21, 24. 26 or 28 years of age. You could also be 40, 41, 42, 46, or possibly 48 years of age. You could have been born in 1960, 1961, 1962, 1964, or 1968. And some of you could have been born in 1980, 1981, 1982, 1984, and possibly 1986, again, for some of you. But either way, going to the power of number 24 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, <clears throat> and 24. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Scorpio need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. The Seven of Cups could talk about confusion, delusional energy, feeling mentally overwhelmed. There could be gab, gossiping, whispering that's going on. Maybe you're at a point right now, Scorpio, where you just don't want a lot of people all up in your business. Maybe you're trying to find some kind of solitude. You could be making plans behind the scenes and you don't want people talking about your life right now. You could be dealing with somebody that has choices and options or they've made you a choice and an option. However, what I'm picking up because we've gone into the Mercury, the first Mercury retrograde of 2024. You could be just trying to be more observant 
of things around you in your environment, the way that people exude their body language or the things that they're saying and trying to gain a clear perspective or stay possibly maybe in observation mode so that you don't succumb to, you know, some kind of confusion or be a part of some kind of gab gossiping, whispering or getting involved. Again, I feel like some of you are trying to maybe deflect or trying to stay out of this. This could talk about <clears throat> family drama, you know, trying to avoid certain things that people are saying in your family. Mm. Oh, there's a card that flipped out. Card that flipped out on the floor, Wheel of Fortune. Your life is getting ready to turn around for the better here soon, Scorpio. Hmm. Fresh new start, brand new beginning, the fool card. And yes, we are technically in Aries season. Some of you guys are dealing with, an. I was about ready to say Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. That could very well be true. However, could be dealing with water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or possibly straight up in Aries. There's a new chapter. There's a new chapter in your life that's getting ready to unfold. But here's the thing. You could be in some kind of creative pursuit right now, or now it's the aha moment where you're going to take back your personal power, your personal control, and start designing and developing your life the way it wants to go instead of staying maybe in an environment that makes you feel overwhelmed, could create anxiety, uh, any form of frustration. So we would know about the fool card. It's about not looking back. This is about you taking calculated chances and risk and putting yourself out there the way you need to. This could be a new approach to how you do dating. This could be a new approach um, to thinking about your job situation right now. Are you going to take that leap of faith? Are you going to move into entrepreneurship? I'm hearing the song, take this job and shove it. Taking a chance, taking a risk on you. Being lighter than air, fancy free. It's not to say that you're not taking full responsibility for your actions. I think you're very well aware of your self-concept. And looking at yourself, when you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see, Scorpio? What do you see? Do you see greatness in you? Do you have the I can do it mentality? How do you feel when you look at yourself in the mirror? We're always going to be judgmental of ourself, right? Why is that? Because we are programmed to seek validation outside of ourself. Maybe now is the time to start thinking differently of how you view you. People, maybe in your social circle of friends or family members could think, oh yeah, Scorpio's crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. They're confused. They're delusional, blah, blah, blah. Saying the worst negative, horrible things. But the fool card here, I feel, is asking you, are you really truly living your life to its fullest? What's it going to take to help you to break free of limitations and taking that chance, that risk on you. Getting rid of the negative self-talk. It hits us all up, you guys. Right? It hits us all up. So 
going beyond the veil of this 3D reality and how people think they view you, etc. Only you know you and the higher power knows you. Your trusted ancestors know you. So now it's the time to start starting to do what it is that you want to do. Yeah, being able to stand on your own two feet, your money increasing, nine of pentacles. It's not quite the ten of pentacles, but to be in the nine of pentacles is good. That type of energy, that type of frequency where things are going the way that you want it to go. And why is that? Because you're going to choose to put yourself only in healthy environments, walking away from what is not serving your highest purpose anymore. Feeling good about you. And knowing your value. What makes you tick, Scorpio? What makes you tick? You know, when we think about here, you know, here being in the Western Hemisphere, you know, meaning the Western side of the world in the United States and so forth, you know, we're in the springtime process, right? It's a new change. Springing and leaping into a different reality. Every season lasts about 90 days. You can change a lot in your life in 90 days. Setting goals can be a challenge. Right now, <clears throat> again, as a reminder, and this has come up before in my readings, don't share all of your goals with everybody unless if they are like-minded people, okay? Because they're going to understand you. They're going to get you. How many times have you gone against the grain, try to seek that validation from people, even in your family, like the things that you want to do, and how many times have you been poo-pooed? Think about it. Have they really been that supportive? If you want to change your life, it's it really is about connecting with people who are on the same frequency that still have a drive. They have a mission. They have a purpose. They want to get somewhere with what it is that they're doing. Those are the type of people that you need to be hanging around. You know, and if you have friends or family members who are trying to get up all in your business, just say, you know, I'm, I'm doing great. That's all you got to say. I'm doing great. Pursuing what I need to pursue. You don't have to go into detail. It's your choice. You know? I know, Scorpio, we are very protective. We're very protective of our energy because it's true, the Scorpio energy does not allow every single person in. It's like we'll give people a chance or an opportunity to prove themselves. But most Scorpios prefer the one-on-one -on -one, uh, building of relationships. We are just that keen in our intuition to see right through people and their antics and if the frequency is not jiving with you, then that's not where you're supposed to be hanging out. Don't put yourself, if you're, if you're trying to date and feeling good, and, but you're forcing yourself to be in environments in order to expose yourself, meaning let people know about your presence, let people know that you exist, putting yourself out there in the dating world. But listen, if your energy frequency is not there, people are going to pick up on that. That doesn't mean that they shouldn't see that side of you to know that you're a human being, but only 
move towards things where you're feeling absolutely confident. Because confidence, as I always say, is hot and sexy. Some of you guys are also dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like in today's reading, because I don't have a lot of lovey-dovey energy, this is more or less about you, Scorpio. How many projects have you put on the back burner? I can, I can say I'm fully guilty of this. I have had numerous projects on the back burner. And I get it. Life happens. Some of you guys have children. You have to attend to their needs before attending to your own. But setting healthy boundaries, friends, family members, in order to get something done, it has to be done. If you want to advance and get to the next phase, the next level. See, a lot of people are so afraid. So afraid of moving to that next phase of that health, wealth, prosperity, abundance. Because you feel like, well, what if I lose my friends, my family members? What if they don't want to be around me because they think I'm different or I've changed? That's on them. Not you, that's on them. You have a specific mission and purpose in this life to be standing on your own two feet. A lot of you guys were raised in poverty or lack conscious mentality. A lot of you did not have a healthy, solid, foundational home where it could have been one parent or no parent. Some of you could be adopted. Um, finding that stability, this is really about your root chakra as well. So guided meditations for your root chakra. And I also feel here too with Aries energy, it's your solar plexus. You, a lot of you already have that surge of creativity. A lot of you could have an overactive sacral chakra right now to where you have all of these beautiful, wonderful ideas but they may not exactly be coming to the forefront. It's because of fear, fearing, uh, fearing the worst, feeling overwhelmed, fearing that people are going to treat you differently or that they're not going to be around you because uh, if you become a millionaire or a billionaire that people are going to think you're stuck up or you're a snob or that you're selfish and all of this, that is on them. The divine has always had a purpose for you. That doesn't mean that you're under the thumb of the universe. But what is embedded in your DNA code is a specific mission. And seeking out what that specific mission is. And it's going to be through your creative pursuit, Scorpio, in order for you to get to another phase. Having more time management, freedom, flexibility. Yes, if you choose the entrepreneurial life and you're trying to get out of that daily, quote unquote, nine to five grind. Yes, you are going to be busting ass to make things happen. And sometimes that's going to go on for a while until you get to that level of comfortability. Okay. So getting out of these ruminating thoughts about where your life is going, what moves you, what moves your soul right now? Have good expectations, high expectations of yourself. You're mature enough to do this. Okay, <clears throat> you're mature enough to do this, mature man, mature woman. You have the ability to handle yourself, handle your career, handle your family, handle your home life. You have what it takes to be successful, to have a balanced life. Bad health. You could have people and their energy frequency that is creating confusion, health issues. Listen, 
If you were in toxic environment with certain friends or family members, yeah, guess what, you guys? They can end up affecting our health. Our health, yes, vitally important. You know, it is. It's hard to get on a routine with that part of our life. Exercise, diet, nutrition, you know, trying to think what is the best plan of action so that I can have that optimal energy frequency is a huge goal. Do you feel like you're at your optimal best? I can tell you firsthand, I don't feel entirely that I am at my optimal best. I don't even know just yet what that frequency is like because I haven't pushed hard enough. Yes, I've gone to the gym. Yes, I work out. But it's not every day. You know, there are just those people who are so fixated and goal-oriented. We can aspire to be that way. But the bottom line is with the bad health card, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that right now maybe you do have a sick family member, but maybe it's somebody that you don't want to talk to, okay? Could be a mother figure, could be a grandparent, could be a cousin, an aunt, whatever. But the bottom line is you could end up creating a lot of mental stress for yourself because if you're not pursuing what makes you happy and you're choosing to stay stuck in the mundane and you feel like you can't get ahead, then a change needs to be made. Otherwise, it's going to wear and tear on your central nervous system and you're going to end up being in this unhappy state. We have to somehow find a way to keep pushing through, okay, and learning how to overcome adversities. But again, it helps when you can find like-minded people who are not going to downgrade you, not belittle you, not make you feel like you're stupid in your choices or what it is that you want to do or pursue. You want to feel, again, on solid ground, so make today the day because the Fool card is about Carpe Diem. Seize the day. What can we do today to seize the moment? You know, if you're in sales, can you do five or ten more phone calls? You know what I mean? Do you need more time to go outside and walk around the block? Do you need to get more fresh air? Again, seize the moment. Seize this time frame to start being the change that you want to see, okay? Because everything starts with a thought and your emotions, again, we have to align our emotions to our thoughts, which can be very challenging. But the moment that your heart space and your mental head space are on that same wavelength, you're going to start to move mountains, Scorpio. You have what it takes. You're mature enough. You're competent enough to move forward towards what you feel you were always meant to do. And, and not, you know, listening to the gab gossiping and whispering. Okay. So my awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.